Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. I am Elon Paul. As you all know, I've done several videos on nanite farming. And most of my videos involve sentinels, of course. You know, taking out sentinels in different types of bases and aspects. But I've been asked a couple times to look into the other means of acquiring nanites. One of those, of course, in this episode, as you saw by the title, is Curiosity Deposits. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to just take a look at my inventory real quick here. I've got a bunch of garbage in here right now. It really doesn't make a difference, so we're just going to leave it there for now. But I forgot I even had this base. It's on another paradise planet in a different system in the Euclid galaxy. Um, I just called it Planet Elon Paul back in the day, um, the planet that I'm on. And it's in a four-planet system. I haven't even explored the other planets. It's how long it's been since I've been here. But anyway, in this system here, this beautiful paradise planet anyway, it's bountiful is what it comes out as. I have a base here that I created a long time ago that I forgot literally all about. Uh, mostly up in the air off the planet's surface. It's not a sky base by any means. And as you can see, I've already got a bunch of refiners set up. I got four over here, one large and three mediums. On the opposite side, you can already see it in the distance, I've got one, two more large refiners and three more medium refiners over here. And then finally, outside, and you can see I've even got some stuff set up in here um, for decoration. <clears throat> On my landing pad, I have a fourth, ref another refiner. That brings the total to 10 refiners that I have set up already. So 10 refiners all total. I've got some other decoration, including, you know, some stuff set up over here for my, uh, you know, containers and stuff like that, cargo, things along those lines. But I'm well off the ground, of course. Um, so that's where I'm sitting at this point. I'm at one of my main bases. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our portal, which is outside. I went the wrong way. Take our portal down and head out to a base I have aptly named Big Curiosity Base. Now, as you can see, we do have a timer at the top right corner. Now, we're going to use the timer as an estimate at this point. Because obviously traveling back and forth from my Big Curiosity Base to this one to do our, our processing uh, of the... Uh, from the stuff we get from the curiosities um it's going to take this extra few seconds to get back and forth and normally what one what most people will have is they'll have uh something set up already in here uh to get this all done but we'll just use it as a means of preparation now i call this the big curiosity base because over here as you can see lots of these guys so we've got a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, let's see, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, there's another one, 19, somewhere I believe in around 24 of these in this uh, area. Now, I used to allow them to roll down. I had a wall set up here as I shot them so that I could take them out. But with the advent of the new Atlantid multi-tools, it is so easy to take these guys out now. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the Polygon Blaster. And we'll make sure we have it, well... There we go. That's not what I want. We're going to switch over to the runic lens. There we go. Let's charge that up too while we're at it. Uh, where'd you go? So much stuff in this. There we go. Okay, so 100%. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you an example. We're going to go ahead and start the timer as I found all these. Okay. And I'm going to let the timer run. But I want to show you one of the reasons why I don't always do this. Now this is an easy way to go about taking care of things. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff that we have in the way. Okay, there we go. And oh, got rid of that too. All right, there we go. So we're all set. Yeah, I really needed that, right? Needed more geodes, of course. All right, so let's get started here. Let's get the timer going. And we'll go ahead and take out our deposits. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're counting them. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. There we go. And we did that in 30 seconds with this new laser. And what did we get? We got runaway mold and nearly two stacks worth. Now, we want to get more. So I have this set up. We could take off on our ship and really repopulate, but I have these series of pads set up. 
so that I can get far enough away. And we come back. And we're back. And look, they're all back again. Isn't that nice? Let's go ahead and pick up some more. So we're going to do this for a period of time here. So I'm going to keep the timer going. And I'll keep going back and forth and picking up as much as I can of this runaway mold from these curiosity deposits. And there we go. So we got our second stack going. So we're going to come back here in a little while. So I'm going to pause the video here as I run all the way over here. There we go. And then we run back. And as we pause, we'll come back. Um, that didn't work. There we go. And there we go. Now we're back. And we'll pause right here. And we'll see you guys in a few minutes. And we're back. So as you can see by the timer, we've got nearly 10 minutes past. I'm going to go ahead and do one more run of these. Because it takes about 30 seconds to get them all. And the reason I'm doing 10 minutes of it is I'm realizing something at the end here. It looks like I got everything. So we're just about at the 10 minute mark. So we're going to go ahead and stop the timer. We're going to stop the timer. There we go. All right. So what do we end up with? Let's take a look at our inventory. That's how much nanites, pardon me, runaway mold we've ended up with. So let's take a quick trip back to our main base. And we're going to show you a little something now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I like that. Ignore the space. I'm going to warp there right now. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to do the math on this one. To multiply by six, of course. Uh, kind of by six. So here's the thing. The caveat to all this is it takes a full 20 minutes to process all these in a refiner. So since we have 10 refiners, we could, and you can't put all these refiners together. So I have two large refiners near each other. If I try to place a third one down near it, I have to, it's too close. It won't allow me to do so. So I have to go and take that refiner elsewhere move it out, which is why you have one of these refiners out here. But we'll go ahead and use this one for the test base. So let's see how many nanites we can put in here, first of all. Uh, there we go. So we put the whole runaway mold in there, right? So what we would do at some point is add one more to this count, just to make it a full 5 to 1 ratio in order to get 10,000 in here. I don't know why it doesn't just give us 10,000, but there we are. We will end up with 2,000 nanites. So one stack of these will give us 2,000 nanites, right? So we have one stack in there. Let's take another look. And let's do the math. Now these are 10 across. So 10, 20, well, you know what? It would have been easier just to have these guys like over here. There we go. So we got 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. The one in there, which is 27. So we have 27 full stacks. Plus the extra 3291, which we'll have to use a few of those um, in order to accommodate for it. But we'll, we'll compensate that in a second. Times the 2,000 is going to give us 54,000 nanites in, let's call it a half hour. Because it takes 20 minutes to process these things. So if we were to go, say, let's clear that out for a second like that. How many stacks will we get in 40 minutes? Okay, so we did it for 10. So we're going to multiply the 27 stacks that we have by 4. So we'll end up with 108 stacks plus, you know, the extras, the 3291, we would multiply by 4. So let's add, see, that would be 12,000. So one more stack. Let's just call it a full 110 stacks, just to make it clear. So 110 stacks times 2,000. So in one hour's time, we would make 220,000 nanites. 220,000 nanites absolutely incredible right that is way more than you can get with sentinel battles so i agree wholeheartedly doing the curiosity deposit thing is definitely worth the time and energy spent to do so but you'd have to separate these out by base so for instance if i want to let me see in order to build a large refiner as an example i'm just going to show you something here real quick uh they'll find those over here here's a large refiner 
I need five marker processors. Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. That was there, but I'm not there. Get up there. Stop that. <laughs> Gotta yell at your system here real quick. Okay, there we go. So if we want to put this down here, what is it telling us? See? Won't let me. What does it say? Limited to two in the local area. It says at the top of the screen. I can't put this here. So I have to go elsewhere to put it down. So let's say we put it down here. So we could put a group of them down here. But again, I'm limited to two. And I'm limited to three medium refiners. So in order to accommodate the... All the stacks, the 110 stacks of these, um, we would need 110 of these refiners. So keep that in mind. So what's the problem with that? Let's think about that for just a second. The problem is, is that you don't have enough base space to produce 110 refiners. It would be one huge freaking base that would be spread across quite the landscape in order to accommodate all of them where you need them. So that would be a little bit of a kind of a, a problem. Conceivably, could you do 60, 110, so say 55, 55 of these. I've got in total 10 in this general area, and I'm having trouble spacing them out. Could you do, could you do five times more of that somewhere in here? Possibly. You might be able to do it, and it'd be spread out, and you'd be running around. So conceivably, 110,000 nanites, you could probably do in about an hour. Um with a proper base set up and everything like that near where all those curiosity deposits are. So you could do a quite a bit more nanites. Um, so again, conceivably with 110 refiners spread across an entire area, you could do up to 220,000 nanites. But in reality, in order to do so, you'd have a very widespread base that you'd have to jump from unit to unit to unit to unit you could set up those little uh uh personal transport things like this one right here and you could jump from spot to spot where your refiners would be located but really would it be worth it that's what it boils down to would it be worth doing so so that's what you have to consider as far as the the caveat to all this is concerned so what's the purpose behind all that um in regards to say let's say in relation to the sentinel farming that I do. Sentinel farming to me is a little easier in the sense that even though I like to battle it out with sentinels and that's all great and dandy, that really has nothing to do with it. The issue is, is that I can have almost immediate results. All I have to do is go to a space station, sell off the stuff, right? And I get all my nanites and I can get up to 120,000 nanites in one run. So there we go. Ultimately, you can make a lot more nanites this way if you do it right, like I said. But in mentioning space stations, our next video is going to be about how we can do this with a pirate system. So we're going to trade materials in a pirate station from pirate station to pirate station or from pirate station to a regular system. I'll look into the minutiae and the details of it. And we'll compare that to how we, how many nanites we can get doing it that way. Conceivably, I'm told I can get quite a bit more than 120,000 nanites. So I'm going to look into that, and we'll do that in the next video. So I want to thank you for watching. By all means, leave some comments. Maybe there's some things I missed, or maybe you think that there's a better way possibly to do it. I'm not going to return to the space anomaly. So think about it. Let me know, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.